explain, if you remember on the page 30, I believe, you are requesting to turn the wheel of Dharma. Um, and I am also requesting my teachers to turn the wheel of Dharma. Turning the wheel of Dharma doesn't really have doesn't really have to be uh, someone uh, talking about the Dharma. Um, <clears throat> dharma is the wheel. What does wheel? What does a wheel do? Is that it takes things from one place to another. So when um, we have Dharma. It takes us from samsara to nirvana. So that's the whole sort of reason behind why we say turning the wheel, you know, meaning uh, the Buddha, uh, our teachers, take our mind from mundane phenomena and deliver us to um, nirvana, at least conceptually too. Hence, the actual dharma is not the words. Actual dharma is not the terms. Actual dharma is the meaning. Actual dharma is, for example, like um, impermanence. Actual dharma is um, the two truths, ultimate and relative. Actual dharma is um, the renunciation that we have, uh, compassion, devotion, discipline, generosity, these are the actual dharma. These are the actual wheel that um, takes us where we want to go, not the words. The words are symbolic. Words are talking about these things, but not the actual dharma. So as our teacher, Tsongsa <clears throat> Kinzen says again and again, to not confuse the words of dharma as the dharma, and then speaker uh, just speaks some dry words and listener just listens to some dry words and then it's like, oh, the Dharma is done. Not like that at all. Transformation has to happen. Um, so at all times, you know, you should really wish for the wheel of Dharma to be turned within you. And for that, Someone doesn't have to be sitting in front of you and talking to you all the time. You know, a sight of Buddha under the Bodhi tree or just the image of it can very well do that. Actually, most of the time, for myself, uh, that does, I mean, that really functions much better than a lot of words, you know, just the image of. this Indian man, so to speak, you know, uh, uh, how to say, who have really uh, reached the uh, pinnacle of wisdom and who have really abandoned all afflictions and obscurations that, you know, mm, to imagine that uh, the stark contrast between the magnificence of his mind and the simplicity of his surrounding is um, something very, I'm really attached to that image in that uh, Shakyamuni just sitting peacefully under the Bodhi tree. Something like this can really turn the will of Dharma within us. So just wanted to say this. <clears throat> 